So I think the big impact of days like this is when you, you get different organisations together to learn together, to, to listen to, to each other's ideas, so to have business and education and the public sector all coming together to solve issues around climate change is exactly what we need to be doing. Some really interesting examples from some of the schools in terms of getting pupils to understand what circular economy means and actually raising their awareness. And I particularly like the example from Springwood Primary about using the school garden and their chickens um, to, to help the children understand natural habitats and then selling the eggs to the local community. So I think that really covers all aspects of circular economy in an interesting and practical way. The impact of this network is quite interesting, it's quite broad, but actually within the South Wales Industrial Cluster we're quite broad as well, so there's going to be lots of touch points. We're actually looking to translate that to the other 13 local authorities in South Wales through the cluster, but the circular economy aspect combined with zero carbon is an interesting feature. I think what's really fascinating is how much everyone is very connected in terms of the, the work that needs to be done. So I don't think there's many arguments anymore about what needs to be done. It's just a case of us all uh, communicating like, like today and, and getting on with it really. The, the insights today is we're, we're actually living in a very complex world that actually we're, we're, we're going to look at how we start to take small steps but make sure those steps are in the right direction. So understanding the end game as well as the uh, first steps that we'll take.